Welcome back to NGTV Plays, Fallout, A Tale of Two Wastelands, featuring myself, Spencer, my co-host, Matt, and I just realized I've been calling it A Tale of Two Wastelands. I think it's just called Tale of Two Wastelands, but it sounds a little bit better to say A Tale of Two Wastelands to me. Well, then go with your gut. I'm going with my gut, man. Also, I was thinking about what I said earlier, last episode, about, um, is that like a trap? Um about the shotgun and how it doesn't make sense that uh, armored people you know would be armored enough to where shotguns don't do a lot of damage and then I realized shotguns are just like uh, just a spray of pellets so an armored person would would have Shit, I don't know what you know about. like protection against shotguns unless you had a slug so I wonder if there's a or if there's a bullet type for like slugs or other types of, of shotgun bullets that would be better against uh, armored people, you know? Have a higher base damage. You know what I'm saying? Just looking at that. I'm gonna eat one of these cat eyes. I just wanna see what would happen. Ooh. Using night vision? Yeah. That's cool. It's kinda like it's it's better than most night vision, like the blue color. Oh, it might be whatever color your uh your HUD is. Your HUD is, yeah. Oh, that's nifty. Oh, I think you just Oh that's I think you broke his chest. I break everything. Jeez. Boom. Oh. Oh, you took off the tip of his tongue. It's pretty gross. Hey, oh. Manhole to Taft Tunnels. Requires a key. Interesting. Jefferson Memorial. Rotundra. Oh, that's right. He's actually here, isn't he? No, not yet. Search for Dad's hollow tape. Oh, good dog. Ooh, shit. Super Mutant Master. Super Mutant Master. I guess just, just like, 8, eight 3, 21 him in the face. Owned. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's crazy. Fucking guy. Can you get can you get that little part of his arm going through the door? You gotta get the part that's actually on our side, I think. I don't know what I fucking just he grabbed. He just grabbed his, his, his rebar. sledgehammer or re rebar, whatever he had. Ah, the other rebar. Oh, nice. Just give yourself more damage. Wait, wasn't he the other way? What are you... No, I'm following the fucking thing. Oh, it's right there. Oh, nice. I get to read his diary. Or listen to his diary. Oh, okay. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault tech facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after, a bottle of scotch. I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex social preservation program and his work on something called Gek, the Garden of Eden creation kit. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it 
was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. And no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, hollow tapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. And that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Interesting. Uh, in the first Fallout, that was like the main storyline was about the Gek and all that. No, it wasn't. Your water pump failed. You had to get a new one. Yeah, but as it... Oh, well, maybe it was number two then. I thought it... Didn't we just watch that video about the storyline of Fallout? Maybe I just watched it. But yeah. One of either fault. I, I thought it was Fallout One. Um, it, it, it's, it's it's not just the water pump. Like 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 that's the reason why you leave. But there's like a whole like storyline about the Gek and all of that. Holy shit! Oh, you can go there. Garden of Eden. In the Garden of Eden. I don't like traveling at night. On the road again. Can't wait to find my dad again. <laughs> we haven't seen him since he was like 16. Or, yeah, 16. No, we saw him recently. He just left. No, I'm talking about we. What do you mean, we? The players. The player, we we saw him, like, the day before he left. Well, the day before. Yeah. Oh, shit, that's a guau do guau Guau. Uh, yao, yao. Yao guai. Yeah. Yao Why guai? are the mobs so fucking difficult? Nah, oh, shit. Oh, dude. Easy. Got him. Oh. Yagwai Hunter. Don't fuck with me, mate. Dude, if all the Yagwai are like that Yagwai, it'll be a piece of cake. I'm gonna snipe this fucking ant. There's a rad scorpion coming at you. Okay. I'm not gonna snipe him. Sniped. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Looks like he's sniping to me. It doesn't matter how many tries it takes. Sniped. Sniped. <laughs> about to bust a cap. The nine mil. Okay, well, just oh, like... Oh, he's a giant rad scorpion. He just, like, hit me right in the fucking face. Maybe your shotgun will do good against it. Ooh, Rebar Club. The fuck back. You don't want to mess with this. I got a fucking Rebar Hey, rank two. Doesn't it just make us do more damage? Yeah, more damage to... Oh, with melee. No, with oh, to any insect. Oh, ju oh, just, just, uh, just any, any damage. Yeah. Nice, nice, good stuff. Let me double check. Show challenges. 
Oh, you know what? It's going to be like... In your stats. In perks. Damage, just straight up damage bonus. Yeah. Nice. That's good. Because it said Stomper. I wasn't sure if it was like melee or not. That did a lot of damage. The giant rad scorpion? Mm -hmm. Well, you usually only fight rad scorpions, not giant rad scorpions. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, I know. I'm just saying it did more damage than I had than anticipated. Expected. Yeah. Well, that rock's just terrible. <laughs> what do you want to bet? Five bucks says that Total Biscuit won't like Fallout. Four? Yeah. Well, he didn't play. He didn't really play Fallout Three or New Vegas. Yeah, I know. So yeah, I don't. I, I don't think he will. So Unless good. the gunplay is really good. If the gunplay is like is good, then he'll be like, "Oh, I don't usually like games like this, but the gunplay is really good. So the really mechanics, and I really like playing it." Blah blah blah. You know, it's gonna be that, and then uh. B but. He'll probably, he probably won't do a a, a, a a first impressions on it because he's gonna claim that he doesn't have time to do it. It's the same reason why he, um, like he hasn't really played Witcher Three even in his own time. He claims he doesn't have time to do it because he's making all the other first impressions for these other games. Did you make that shit run away? No, he's circling. Got him. Oh, he's going to get... Nope, I thought he was going to... Yeah. Fucking weirdest... Is that supposed to happen with his gun, or is that just like a, like a glitch, you think? No, it's supposed to probably happen. If it, something gets filled with enough, this type of... No, it's just like a critical hit. You know how you have a chance to disintegrate the... Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh. I saw something red to your left. Yeah, 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 I see it. I wasn't sure if you saw it. I was just like letting you know. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely meant to happen. It's pretty cool. What's that over there? What, that? Yeah, it's like a trash can. What is that? Protectron? Fucking moron. Oh, yeah, it's a Protectron. Hey, energy cell. Scrap metal. What's up? Well hidden. Yeah, super well hidden, Dad. In some kind of garage. Found it right away. Activate mutt fruit. When I first look at it, I still see nut fruit. That's you have, the first you're thing I think. Mentally of. disturbed. Yeah, I'm mentally disturbed because I thought nut fruit. What do you get inside? I don't know. I'm looking for that. Oh, I bet you it's like a. What the fuck? Uh, stim pack. Okay. I really wish we had some plasma mines right about now. Oh, man, you got this motherfucker. Have I have we ever have, have you ever I've seen one of these? I don't even before? know if I've ever seen one of these things before. Ooh. Oh, that shit was crazy. They sell for a lot. And the fission battery sells for a lot, 75. Well, that's not how much it sells for. It sells for like 35. Oh. Uh, what is. <sighs> that's gonna explode. It that did explode. <laughs> you just, uh, just crippled, like, <laughs> your arm and your leg. Uh, you should use, uh, yeah. Glad you crouched. <laughs> G 
Jesus. Freaking talent company. Oh, maybe you can heal your shit. When was the last time you had the chance to heal your comet hour? Last time they attacked me? That's a fair assessment. Where the hell are the sun? Ah, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was just funny. Where the fuck? <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Soul rifle. I guess that's everyone. I think that sentry bot was with them or was it like its own thing? No, I think, I think it was its own thing. Behind you? Motherfucker. He does not look like the type to, uh,. Be talking the way he is. Oh well, my god! Just liquefied him. You want you, you want whose head on a what plate? Oh, the service rifle. No. Oh, is it bad? Yeah, we've had it before. Yeah, that's right. We did have it before. Sorry, I just got excited because it sounded cool. Hey. Hey, this is good stuff. Oof, quite a bit. Weapon repair kit, that's always good. Take that pencil? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can make nails out of scrap. Break down scrap metal to lead. No. Oh, that might be useful later on. If we ever do anything more with, with crafting, which we probably won't. I hate crafting. Matt is... Severely against crafting. Smith Casey's garage. Come on in. If I remember, I think there's some mole rats in here. I also think there's a skip where you can come here first. And you can, like, do, like, a bunch of shit. Where you come here first, you can skip, like, a huge portion of the game. Well, that's a good use of your 22. Don't get to use it very often. <laughs> ah, was I right or was I right? Aggroed. Oh, you hit him before he got to hit you. That was pretty good. Is there a footlocker over there? Oh, fucking... Salesman Weekly, hey! Oh, you should you should do that Salesman Weekly next time, uh, b right before you uh, make you do a big trade, because I bet you it ups your bartering. It does. <laughs> you heard the mole, right? <laughs> I fucking knew it was here. The sound it made was kind of like the sound of like uh, taking a bite out of an apple. Ah. You can check any of the toolboxes, dude. Toolboxes fucking suck. Until they have something you Scrap want. Scrap electronics. I'm sure somebody will want that one day. Fucking bitch ass barrel getting in the way. There's a, there's a button yes, over there. Yes, I know, man. Okay, dude, I'm just making sure you knew. Scrap electronics and a hammer. You just, you just. Oh, I didn't know. I clicked it the first time. I didn't hear a noise. Kind of want something like that in my house. I don't know. I had this fascination with like having like a, a house with like, a basement or some kind of secret like area. I think a lot of people have that fascination though. So I don't think I'm that crazy. But oh, that was good. I always wanted. This motherfucker's running. Where are you going, man? I've got a wife and kids. Was he like calling for his freaking friends? Gun hey, cabinet. totally missed the freaking gun cabinet. Too bad it has like shit for weapons. See, this is why I wanted to look in here. You're like, go, go. I wasn't saying go, go. I was just letting you know that there was a thing there. I thought you were leaving. I never leave. Unfinished business. You're gonna, you know, when you die, you're gonna be a ghost. Some unfinished business. 
All right, I think this is probably good. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. If you want to see some more, subscribe. We will see you guys next time. Peace.